So I'm out here in nature having a wonderful time. It's such a beautiful day. It's going to get quite humid later, so I'm trying to enjoy um, being outside as much as I can this morning and decided to make this video. I was talking to a friend a day or so ago and we were discussing meditation and visualization and I was got me thinking about how both of them are a little different from each other. They're similar, but yet they're also different. So I thought that I would make a video on my channel and share some of my opinions on the difference between the two. So basically, meditation is when you focus on one particular thing. Um, originally, it was about breathing, getting still, being quiet, you know, basically disconnecting from the outside world and going into a quiet space, clearing your mind. You know, forgetting about everything that happened that day, or if you do it in the morning, forget about the things that happened the day before. Just letting go of everything. Getting still, getting quiet, and focusing on one particular thing. In this case, I'll use breathing. But you can literally have it be anything. You know, you could go into a meditative state. Um, you know, some people say it's best to close your eyes. Some people say you can open your eyes. It's whatever is best for you. So if you wanted to open your eyes, you could focus on the candle flame. Or you could focus on a crystal or just any particular item that calls to you for that session, you could use it. Um, so, one thing that I wrote is, mm -hmm. Did me, yeah, training the mind. Basically, meditation is training the mind to achieve something or to bring more peace and relaxation into one's life. Meditations are a good way to create better concentration by focusing on one thing. So that's basically what meditation is. You focus on one thing. Like if you're going to focus on the candle flame, you're going to just look at that flame and you're going to let go of all your thoughts, everything, and just focus on this flame. Visualization is more about creating a mental imagery in your mind where you are creating maybe a certain place or you see yourself achieving something or you're telling yourself you're going to think positive because you're going through a bad situation in life. Um, that's basically what meditation is. You're focusing on bringing about something into your life or you know seeing mental images in your mind some people are better at hearing image or you know sitting still and like maybe seeing like a, a canvas like a solid color canvas and then receiving signs or maybe have a, um, a scent or and imagine the flower or smelling the flower if you can actually visualize it because I know that a lot of people have trouble visualizing things or seeing things in their mind's eye and so visualization can be guided or not guided. You could actually have a friend guide you through a meditation. Or you could record one yourself on a DVD or cassette tape. There's true. <laughs> Excuse me, my nose is itching. <laughs> Must have been... Ugh, I'm outside, so maybe a bug or something. <laughs> it's really itching. Sorry. Um, <laughs> sorry about that, guys. Um, so visualization is more about creating a scene in the mind's eye and relaxing. Um, visualization helps you cr to relax and control what images you see, hear, feel, and taste while you're in this altered state. Um, so visualization, you could go into just sit, clear your mind. You also want to see that's the things that make these two similar is that meditation and visualization, you want to clear your mind and focus on one thing or with visualization you can focus on a few things you know you can um, you know create certain scenes thoughts ideas um, anything you want I'm kind of losing my train of thought because my nose keeps itching <laughs> um, so that's basically how I see the differences um, it's pretty simple um, it could it can be more complex or it can be more simple uh, if you want to share how you see the differences or something that you would that you do um, when you meditate or visualize I would love to hear it so just leave a comment below or you can send me a personal message um, so with visual visualization I like to one thing that I will do this is what I do sometimes I will sit in a quiet space I may have music in the background I'll probably have an incense burning and probably a candle or two and I will sit there and I will clear my mind from everything of the day and I will you know cleanse myself get into a, a, a right state um, it's always sometimes it's really good to do grounding or centering um, before and after so you don't come out of the meditation or visualization state cloudy headed or feeling tired or feeling like um, 
you're drained of energy. So it's, it's always a good thing um, to do grounding and centering, you know, afterwards. Or just clear yourself. It could be as simple as just putting your feet in the ground and releasing um, the energies. Or just however way you want to do it. Um, but with visualization, I'm going to get back on track. Um, one thing that I do is I will visualize a meadow or a very peaceful field, just beautiful nature with trees, um, grass, birds, <laughs> um, animals, you know, like rabbits or frogs and turtles and all kinds of just peaceful things. Um, so, but basically I won't really focus on all of the detail. I'll just focus on being in this meadow and I usually will always like see myself sitting in the middle of the field, um, like in a beautiful white dress just sitting there, um, meditating really, actually is the position I'm in, the lotus position, just sitting there with my legs crossed and just being at one with nature because when you are at one with nature, it's the most beautiful, precious, amazing feeling in the world. Like no feeling feels better because you are connected with this flow. You're, let's say, <clears throat> excuse me, you're in tune with everything around you. And when you're in that state, so let's go back. So I'm sitting there, I'm in this field, it's peaceful and it's quiet. I will then create what I want or what I'm trying to achieve. So, or if I need some sort of guidance, I may ask my spirit guide or my ancestor to show me a sign. Now the signs, sometimes they, it might be right then. Um, it may even come as a riddle. But then, or it may even come later on, sometimes three, four months. It could even be a year believe it or not, <laughs> or even longer before you actually get that answer. But the answer will come because in my practice and belief, spirit never lets you down. It's always got your back, so to speak. It's always going to lead you down that path. Sometimes that path may seem like it's not the right one for you or, you know, it's like, why is this happening to me? Ugh. But then you realize that was supposed to happen so I could come out of it and be higher above it. Um, or learn from it, grow from it, become more spiritually aware. So, that was going off topic, I know. Um, so back to visualization and meditation. Meditation, focusing on one particular thing, clearing your mind, clearing your thoughts, just relaxing. It's all about relaxing, being at one. Visualization, more about creating imagery in your mind to bring forth some sort of desire or asking for guidance or um, whatever you want you know it's all about how you connect and how it works best for you some people may go all, go all out and create a room that's specified just for meditating and that's wonderful um, it's whatever works for you um, there may be certain scents fragrances that work best to help you connect it's really about each individual so I guess that's really all I got to say here. If I keep talking, I'll probably start rambling. So I'll see you all soon. Oh, and the giveaway, I'm going to post it tomorrow. I'm working on a special item that I'm going to give away on this giveaway, and it's not quite finished yet. But I'm going to finish it up today. There's Axel. I'm going to finish it today, and then I'm going to post it tomorrow. Um, I'm going to finish what I'm working on, and then I'm going to make the video tomorrow and have it posted hopefully in the morning sometime. So I'm really excited about the giveaway for tomorrow. Be sure to, you know, be subscribed so you'll see it come up. I don't really know how YouTube and G Google Plus and all that's working now. I'm kind of at a loss with it. I mean, I really haven't been on Google Plus ever, and I don't really know how to even use it. I know that really sounds silly, but <laughs> um, I haven't really, you know, got involved with it. And I know that YouTube and Google Plus is all connected now, so I'm gonna, I've got a lot of catching up to do, I feel like. But it's going to take me some time because I don't want to overwhelm myself and do it all at once. So, yeah. Giveaway tomorrow. I'm going to have some videos up of the little boy because uh, we're so excited. I've had him about three months now. Um, little St. Bernard. I've posted pictures on Instagram if you follow me there. But um, I'm going to have some videos coming up with him, too. And um, some, some videos of him in true plan. And it's just going to be really cool. So, um I'm just really excited to be back. I'm so glad to be getting back connected with everyone. It seems like some people have left um, that were making videos back when I was. Because um, I realized on April 13th, that was my two years on YouTube. So, pretty cool. But even though I was gone for a little while, I think I was gone 
for maybe about four or five months. My last video was like the first of February, I think. And now we're in the middle of March, you know, almost June. So I'm really excited to be back. A lot of things are changing. I got a lot of new video topics I'm going to make. And a lot of things have changed within myself too. So <clears throat> I don't, I'll probably still keep all my old videos up. But I'll probably also work on some new videos. Um, some new topics too. So that was irrelevant. Anyway, I better go. It's ramble time. Bye. <laughs> or it's not going to be ramble time. <laughs>